Hey you guys, Kyle with MTG Freeway and today I will be doing my first Fat Pack Friday video where starting with Cons of Tarkir I will descend and open every single Fat Pack known to existence in Magic and I will go starting Cons of Tarkir, then M15, then um, Journey into Nyx, and Born of the Gods, Theros, etc, etc until I get to the very first Fat Pack and I'll be doing one video of these every Friday so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy. My first video is Cons of Tarkir. So let's open this fat pack, this little puppy we got here, and see what I get. And hope for the best, guys. Um, who knows, this fat pack might have some decent stuff. Fetch, foil fetch, or whatever. Um, inside the fat pack, of course, you get nine packs. The little um, booklet that tells you about the cons and stuff like that. Let's... Let's look at the booklet really quickly and skim through that and see what's inside and then look at the little poster art. Okay, let's skim through the book real quick. Um, uh, tells you about each of the clans, always nice. Um, then um, it also tells you about the morph mechanics and tells you about each of the card lists. Nice little, nice little read we have here. And then um, let's open this and look at the channel or look at the fat pack art, see what it looks like. All right, so looks like we have Zergo Helm Smasher. Always nice for the little uh, fat pack banner arts if you like that sort of thing. And then let's uh, open the fat pack and see what we get in here. Uh, of course, you get the two deck boxes that go uh, that come with every fat pack, and then you also get the um, the nice little uh, fancy spin down right here. Nice little uh, red maroonish color. And then, of course, you get the fat pack or the packs, and then you get the rules reference card for new players. Shows you a little bit of rules about the game and get you introduced to magic if you're new and then um, of course like every fat pack you get the basic land basic land sets right here you get uh, I think it's 80 lands nowadays and yeah um, get 80 basic lands and then stuff like that but let's get to the let's get to the spice let's get to the beef etc etc and open these uh, packs of tarp here and see what we get all right guys um, so let's keep going I'll skim through everything here okay there is one two three or uh, we got a foil war name aspirant um, always good for Apple I think I skipped the rare yeah um, it was an avalanche tusker it's meh Avalanche Tuskers meh right now, but who knows? Um, that was our first rare was an Avalanche Tusker. Um, we have eight packs to go. Let's hope for something decent. All right, guys. Let's keep skimming here. See what we get. One, two, three. A Dragon Style Twins. Yay! And then Foil Flavor with the Forest. Then a morph token. Um, okay, so far not the best fat pack, um, but who knows? We have seven more packs to open. We might get something decent. Who knows? Uh, skim through everything real quickly here, right here. See what we get. Um, here we go. One, two, three. We got a Necropolis fiend here. So far these packs seem meh, but who knows? We might get something decent because. Um, fat packs are completely random we might get nine jank rares and this fat pack might be meh but oh well let's keep looking see what we get um one two and then just kai ascendancy always good for the ascendancy combo decks you know did we get two warning aspirants this oh no i thought we had two that in the thing i was like that'd be weird but anyways just kai ascendancy um always good for the ascendancy combo decks Deals with like infinite mana and then bouncing your opponent's creatures and uh, everything like that just to kill your opponent straight up in like one turn. But, anyways, um, you heard that shaking, that was my dog. But, 
Yeah, um, let's look through these right here, see what we get. Um, one, two, three. Uh, Karug Spell Cat Snatcher. Um, always good and limited. When it's turned face up, a uh, counter target spell. If that spell is con a counter this way, exile it instead of placing it onto its opponent's graveyard. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost for as long as it's remained exiled. So, if it's like a good, if it's like a good card, uh, you can cast it without paying its converted mana cost. And I think that's really good. I mean, it gets exiled, and you can play it for free te uh, technically if you wanted to. Um, okay, let's keep going with this fat pack, and we have an ankle shanker. Always meh. So far, we've got two of the promo rares in this fat pack, and then a foil weave fate. Draw two cards for four instant. This could be good in control decks, maybe. Who knows? Um, yeah. So far, this fat pack isn't really uh, worthwhile. Maybe, uh, maybe the next three packs will redeem itself, but who knows? <laughs> Um, let's just keep going and see what we get. Treasure Cruise. Uh, always a good card for Legacy. If it was, if only it was foil, that would make it a lot better. Uh, but let's just keep going, guys, and see what we get here in these packs. We got Howl of the Horde. Uh, always uh, decent, I guess. And then a Foil Feed the Clan. But this fat pack doesn't look like it's that exciting. So far we've got a lot, uh, nothing but bulk rares. There hasn't been any money cards that have spit out to me. If you, th if there is money card that spit out, then I don't really know of it. But, yeah, um, let's just keep skimming and see what we get here. Hey, we got a Soren, guys. There's a money card, I guess. Um, Soren, Solemn Visitor, the Planeswalker. Till, plus one till your end of your next turn. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, gain life link, minus two, put a vampire, and then minus six, you get an emblem, uh, you're, you get an emblem with at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature, so there's something for our fat pack, we, um, we didn't make our money back, but, um, that's something, uh, we got a mythic, there's one more pack, that would be cool if we got a Sarkon and a Thorn, but, um, I'm not, I'm not the one to complain so yeah um let's just keep skimming through see what's in this last pack and then we'll review our pool and see what we get arc lightning always good in the sideboard and then our last rare is the crosska visor mm, yes another one of the prom uh, promos from the decks from the intro decks so this looks like it's in very intro -y, very intro -y fat pack for new players because it had all that um let's review what we got real quick and go from there rakoshka visor meh soren seems like it's the money card um howl of the horde ankle shanker another intro intro deck promo cure spell snatcher maybe just kai senate seats maybe a few dollars uh necropolis fiend is meh dragon style twins Avalanche Tusker, another intro rare, another intro rare, rare, and then we are foils, a foil feed the clan, uh, foil we fate, foil flavor, and a foil war name aspire. That might be worth something, who knows, because it's played in mono red decks, but um, I don't know. But yeah, guys, that was my first Fat Pack Friday video. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for like future updates and everything like that make sure you like the facebook uh give the google plus some love and follow me on twitter because um yeah but especially follow the google plus because it needs some love i want to start using it etc etc but yeah guys um that was my first fat pack friday video and um that fat pack didn't really redeem itself i mean i guess so soren excuse me there but um maybe soren but who knows um but yeah guys i'll see you next friday on my fat pack friday videos when i open a fat pack of m15 to see what we get and yeah guys um have a good one and i'll see you guys next friday